Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. No, it's not. Oh, oh, gosh. This, this. oh my gosh, look at all the shelves. What? No way. People going in there grabbing like a month's supply of stuff. How old did you think the girl was? Oh, she was going to fishing for 15 minutes. That's quite disturbing behaviour being outside the school asking young girls for their phone. Guys! Come on, Coco, family meeting, let's go. <laughs> Quick, this is serious. Family meeting. Family meeting without Grace, she's at my mum's. We need to scoop her up. Okay, so we've had an email from Casey and Grace's school and it is now closed until further notice because of the spread of coronavirus. How do you feel about that, Casey? Happy, the school's shut. But not happy that people are getting the coronavirus. No, no. I'm happy. What about you? I'm happy. Happy to be at home. You just love to be with mummy well, and daddy. Hold on a second. Huh? Don't get too close, you know. Well, we need to stay away. So the rumour is, is it a rumour or a school have actually confirmed that people... Um, no, so there's a, a suspected case of... Um, you had... The teacher and a student having coronavirus. At the moment, they have shut the school until they know whether it's confirmed or not. So we don't know. And they're deep know. cleaning everything. Yeah, they're going to do a what? deep clean. So we what? don't know. They need to clean anyway, whether it's corona or not. Yeah, with you lot there, it's probably well day. So up until now, we haven't really taken the coronavirus thing that seriously as a family, have we? So no. we... Things we don't normally get too worried, do we? we? We're not worriers. Well, I'm not, and Sarah's not. Sometimes she's not. Depends what it is. But, but the wasn't. thing is, is that I I've got asthma and Sophie has had respiratory problems in the past. But I think from what I've heard, no kids Sophie's age have got coronavirus before. Um, I. But, but with we, her, yeah, we can't. With, she's it. got a low immune system, and I've got really bad asthma. So we're the sort of people that coronavirus could be. <laughs> and quite I I know. So yeah, it could be dangerous for us, but we're not. We're not going to be like. We're not going to panic. We're not going to go panic. Into panic mode. But we are Which now taking precautions. Yeah, like our family have just said they they think we should get a few items for the house just in case we have to isolate for the next couple of weeks. We've got food. And then Stuff indoors, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Tesco, we're gonna pick up Grace on the way. We're gonna go get to some Tesco. supplies. And the thing is, what we are actually, we're not like officially isolating, but we are cutting down on the amount that we're going out. Yeah, like so obviously, like soft plays, I think are a good idea to avoid soft plays and big groups. So, Casey Events. was supposed to go to concert. a concert, and we've just said no, we don't think it's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did you think though? Well, okay, because we were driving there. So. Yeah, but it's not the driving. <laughs> it's not the drive, it's the fact you're going to a concert with thousands of people. Yeah, but... And they're all going to be shouting. Ooh. If they all had symptoms, then they wouldn't go. No, 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 no. So you can have coronavirus and have no <laughs> symptoms and be contagious. Like a week. And surely someone in that thousands of people could easily have coronavirus. Yeah, it's spreading so quick, isn't it? It's there's like... people in... There's also... Like, every day we're hearing more and more people that are... Um, suspected with coronavirus like in the area and stuff so we like we said we're not we're not being hysterical but we are going to take precautions as yeah, a family. Yeah I think it's a good idea. It's not just about catching it, it's also about spreading it like you could have it and spread it. Um, so. yeah. I you, I like if you had it I would have it by now because you are like all over me. Look at, look at Chloe. Oh, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah it's going to a quarantine. <laughs> yeah Go goes in quarantine. Um, sofa. Operation no. Coronavirus Lockdown has been initiated. Um, Roland, how are you feeling about the corona? Um, 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 I am annoyed, yeah. The Formula <laughs> One is cancelled. Now football is cancelled. And then I'm going to have to stay indoors. So basically what you're saying is coronavirus is an inconvenience to your life. So we're going to pick up Grace from Sarah's mum. Then we're going to head to Tesco to pick up some supplies. What do we need? Well, why is everyone going crazy for toilet roll? I don't know, did they not wipe before? This is what people are saying, like, why huh? are they... Did they not wipe before? Yeah, like, why has it gone so crazy for toilet roll? Because it's, it's blue, before, it's not like... Wipe, no. It's not like it's... It's not like vomiting diarrhea, so why is people going crazy for toilet roll? Yeah, but it's, for me, like, toilet roll is not really an essential. Like, you, you could still clean yourself in other ways. So what? What? No, child, that's disgusting. I'm saying toilet roll, like, you're not going to die from not having toilet roll. If you went into you isolation, you need food, you need water. Like, why is the, what's the big deal about toilet roll? Like, anyway. What? Daddy poo, daddy poo. <laughs> yeah, because you're saying toilet just... roll. Have you disinfected yourself? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, listen, I don't know what your nan's got, all right? <laughs> oh, oh, it's funny. Hi, buddy. Good boy. Wait first, give this a bite. Did you do your pause? It's nice to speak coffee in 
sniffing all over us. What? Grace is oh, Grace, you've been coughing and sniffing. Yeah. Yeah. Coronavirus! Okay, we just pulled up at Tesco's. Were you thinking it might be empty? I'm thinking it's a rubbish idea. A what? bad idea, not rubbish idea. Well, we're getting away from the coronavirus, but we're coming into somewhere where this Wow, we're going into a busy public place. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, now. I don't know if this is a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. Maybe someone should just run in and get the essentials. Oh, oh, i tell you what, let's, let's, let's just be... Whoa, did you bring the dental wipes? No. No? Oh, no. Right, guys, we're going to actually have to take precautions when we're in there. Yeah? What about, like, with the trolley and stuff? Chicken! Should I go and get some gloves first? You think we're taking it too far? Yes. No. You don't think we should wear gloves? Uh, no. Oops. You're going too far. Uh, uh, that's, that's not even the worst. No, no, but I Casey and her friends all came home from school yesterday with surgical gloves on, didn't they? Yeah. They got on the bus like that. I fell asleep in the car. You fell asleep in the car? Yeah. I wonder why it's so quiet in the car, to be fair. It was. I actually forgot she was in there. <laughs> You can get in your eyes as well, so guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Let's not touch stuff. Let's not touch things, okay? No, 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 okay? Good thinking. You don't look well. I'm putting you in quarantine. <laughs> what? How is that stocking up? Wait, what? Why is everyone splitting up? I'll go with them. Go, go. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm gonna get your little bum. <laughs> Mummy! Mummy! <laughs> Where are you? There she is. Done. Wait, so there's a shortage on LOL dolls really because of coronavirus. Like the end of the world. For Sophie. <laughs> so this is my stock up. Oh yeah, so bear essentially we've got an Easter egg, we've got a pair of scissors, and she's gonna get some pajamas. Can we stay focused with what we're here to do? Uh oh. Oh my gosh, look at all the shelves. Oh. What no way. What on earth? I've literally never seen anything like this. This is unbelievable. Now, Casey, where else are we going to get your nappies from? Get them here. Oh, funny. <laughs> we need a six. Six. Yes. Have they got six? Yeah, but I can't reach six. it. No, you don't want to touch it, do you? No, She's going to reach it. it. Right, Roland, you are the designated picker. We aren't going to touch anything. No, you no, pick no, everything. No. Yeah, not nose picker. <laughs> <laughs> so everything we want to pick up, you pick it up, okay? No, Hello. No, pick, no, pick up a penguin. No. Honey, he's up, pop, pop. Okay, so. Do you know, I just remember I'm trying to be healthy. Well done. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the soap aisle. The only soap left is the one that I've never heard of. But it is antibacterial, so we can get it. Casey, yeah. bare essentials. Do you need to stock up on fake tan? No, I've got loads. Are you sure? Okay, few. Oh, no. wow. Here, look, there is some. That's, that's kitchen no, that's roll. kitchen roll. That's going to chafe. Yeah? yeah? Oh, my goodness, there's one. No, it's kitchen, no, it's kitchen roll. roll. Oh, my goodness. So what's that? Seriously, guys. That is Who is doing this? What about hand tissues you get in a box? Look at that. Literally, yeah. nothing on the shelves. It's actually insane. This is, it feels like Armageddon. Like the world's coming to an end. What's that feel? Armageddon. <laughs> the problem with this is they've got washing powder, yet they're going to self isolate. So, why do you need to wash that many clothes? Because you're not going well, you're out. You're going to change your clothes every day, though, yeah. still. Well, oh, what? You stay at home and just wear the same clothes? You're just wearing pajamas, right? Look. Oh, wow. I feel like people are stockpiling the wrong things. Like, food like, is an what essential. About cookies? Cookies. Sweets. <laughs> Wait, Grace has got it. Yeah, but I also got what tissue. You, you went to the toilet. I went to the tissue. toilet. The toilet is, is that up. clean? The toilet, yes. The toilet is full up with tissue, so no one's going in there. Ah, oh, Roland, you packed it. Go and get it. You okay, Sophie? What are you getting? Yes. What are they called? Apples. Mummy. Wait, let's get a bag for them. I just need to lick my finger to get there. Oh. Okay. Okay, we need bunny. Whoa, 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 why are you we, doing that we for? We need bunny. Seriously, that's she a lot. She likes chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate. And Roro likes chocolate, so we share. Should we put it back? Put it in the basket. Or put it back. 
Oh, all of a sudden she's stockpiling now. Now it comes to the stockpiling. No, we can't have them. <laughs> so pasta sauces are gone. Look at that. I gave her the, jo the job of getting crisps. I got these. You just got that. Bruh. For all of us. Yeah, but I'm not For a week. Crisps. I'm being healthy. That's why we should send Grace to the aisles to get stuff. Okay, let's get all the stuff on the till. What's up? Him. Huh? Your packing skills aren't quite there yet. I'm not <laughs> Guys, I just want to quickly interrupt today's video. Obviously, the video that we're making today, it's a light-hearted video. It's the kind of content that we make. But coronavirus, it is a serious thing and we don't want to be insensitive to it. So I do want to just share with you a few tips. Make sure you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds at a time. When you're getting to work, when you're getting to school, when you're getting home. Each time you're changing location, I think it's a good idea to wash your hands. So if you do have symptoms of coronavirus, even if you're not quite sure, the best thing you can do is just stay away from other people. You could be fit and healthy and coronavirus might not affect you that badly, but you could be spreading it to someone else who is vulnerable and who does have health conditions. Just be thinking of other people at this time who are vulnerable. Anyway, guys, back to the video. No, I'm biting them, I'm not picking them up. No, Wait, what? No. You're using your fingers to no. eat them? No, no. I'm like no. putting it to the top and I'm just gonna eat it out of a packet. Yeah, right. yeah, but the packet's dirty. Uh, I'm not going that extreme, to be fair. Also, I just want to point out that we've gone into Tesco's and we have not stockpiled. We've not gone mad. We've actually left stuff for other people, which I think there's like a lot of selfish behaviour going on because if you think yeah. about it, people going in there grabbing like a month's supply of stuff, which means that other people don't even have it for next week. And obviously, like, there's people like the elderly who actually should be staying indoors because it's at risk for them. I mean, they can't get stuff that they need. So yeah, like we might have made a few jokes in there, but we actually haven't gone mad. We've just no, grabbed enough have... stuff to last us the week. There was enough soap there that we could have got us a month's That's worth of soap. But I just think like, just, I don't know, just don't be selfish. <laughs> oh, I just caught him putting his fingers in the crisps. He was like, and then he looked at me and he went, um, I put a hand sanitizer yeah. on my on my hand before I went in Tesco. Yeah, before really... you went in, that's yeah. where the germs are. No, no. Climb the river. No, no Coco, you can't have You'll that. You'll be the first one crying if you get it because you and man float. Oh. oh, I feel so rough. Yeah, I, so I, don't, I don't feel ill. Like, I'm not going, oh, I feel no, ill but like that's Joel. What, that's what you get like, like seven days later, Joel's still ill. Yeah, that's true. Can you hear someone shouting? How old did you think the girl was? <laughs> Okay, so you're probably wondering what is going on right now. So literally, as we pulled up home from Tesco's doing our food shop, we were getting the food shopping out of the car, there was a situation happening literally right outside our house where there was a dad of a 12-year-old girl who was confronting a boy of 17 who had followed his 12-year-old daughter from school and was asking her for her phone number. And also, this was the second time that he'd been seen doing it within this week. That's quite disturbing behavior for a 17-year-old to hang outside school asking young girls for their phone number. So obviously we're not going to show the identity of anyone involved in the situation. It's a very sensitive subject. We don't know if the boy's intentions were just innocent, if he was just trying to make friends, but it was a very suspicious situation. The main point of us sharing this is one, because there's no end to the video because this is what happened and it kind of took over the rest of the evening. And two, the reason I'm sharing this is just awareness for people watching this, either parents or kids that are watching this video now, just to say that if anyone is asking you for your number outside of a school, and you are concerned about it, or you've seen it happen, like you do need to tell a parent. So kids who are watching this, it's not normal for someone to come outside of school and ask you for your contact details, especially if they look older than you. If she told me that she's going to do you If you're approaching girls who are in school uniform asking for their number, the first thing that you should be asking is how old are you, right? Not what's your number. You can explain to the police that this needs to be reported to the police. You can tell them your side of the story, but it's irresponsible of us to let you go knowing that you've asked a 12 year old girl for their number. So the police didn't arrest him. He hadn't actually committed a crime. Asking someone for their phone number or their Snapchat is not a crime but at least they have it on record in case this guy does do it again. Guys, it's not a usual outro for the vlog, but anyway, hit the subscribe button, join the DVG fam, and we'll see you next time with Dad V Girls. Bye.